Hi dear Apple user, what's going on? I hope you're all well. In this tutorial, we talk about how to fix your iPhone battery drain issue after iOS 16 update. A lot of many Apple users reported this issue. And usual battery drain issue is the one of worst thing to ourselves with your iPhone after iOS 16 update. This issue can persist even with the latest software update. It's been hardly a month since iOS 16 has been released officially, yet there are reports of many battery drain issues from general public. So are you running iOS 16 as well? But if you are facing battery drain issue, so don't worry. In this video, I will give some tips and tricks you just applying on your iPhone and after watching this video, I'm pretty sure you will easily fix this problem. So let's get started without wasting any time. Now guys, what you need to do, you just applying solution number one on your iPhone. Solution number one is turn off location services from your iPhone. So what you need to do simply go to settings app in your iPhone. Here we go, you just type on privacy and security. And so guys, in privacy and security page, you just type on location services. Now here's toggle on, you just turn it on this one toggle and type on confirm. And that's it, you will easily apply solution number one on your iPhone. Now guys, once you can do this, simply you just move to the solution number two. Solution number two is remove unnecessary widgets from your home screen. So here's my all widgets, it's all unnecessary widgets. That's why you are facing battery drain issue. So what you need to do, simply you just press on your widgets, type on remove, then type on confirm and you just do this same process. You just remove all widgets from your iPhone and you will easily save your iPhone battery. And so guys, once you can apply this one solution, simply you just move to the solution number 3. Solution number 3 is disable background app refresh. So what you need to do, simply open the setting app on your iPhone. In setting page, you just scroll down. Now go to journal. In journal page, type on background app refreshes. Allow apps to refresh their contents when on Wi-Fi or mobile network in the background. So guys, turning off background may help preserve your battery life. So simply you just turn it on, turn it off this one. Okay, and once you can do this, simply you just remove all the sensory tab from your iPhone and move to the next solution. So next solution is you just turn it on dark mode on your iPhone. So what you need to do, simply go to your iPhone settings. In iPhone settings, type on display and brightness. Now guys, here we go. You just turn it on dark mode and you will easily save your iPhone battery. So the next process is turn on auto brightness on your iPhone. So what you need to do and how we can turn on auto brightness so simply go to settings app In setting page simply you just type on accessibility in accessibility page you just type on display and text size here we go you just scroll down as you can see as option auto brightness turning off auto brightness may affect better life and long term display performance okay guys you just turn it on uh, this one toggle and so guys once you can do this so the last solution is you just update your iphone with the final version so what is the final version? Simply uh, go to journal. In journal page, you just type on uh, journal and you just type on software update. Here we go, guys. If you are uh, not update your iPhone with the final version, your latest final version showing here. And you just type on install and update. And after a few minutes, you will easily download and install the latest version, iOS 16.1.1. So guys, this uh, version is final. And once you can uh, update your iPhone with the final version, you will easily save your iPhone batteries and solve a lot of many bugs. Hopefully guys, this tutorial is very helpful for you. I'm pretty sure after applying this solution on your iPhone, you will easily save and secure your iPhone and save your uh, iPhone batteries. Hopefully guys, this tutorial is very helpful for you. If you have any problems, so please let me know in the comment box. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.